What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix OBS encoding overloaded error. So in this case, if you're having this problem here, there are going to be a few things you do to probably solve this issue. So first things first is you wanna guarantee that everything is up to date. So first things first is when you open up OBS, usually you should see a pop-up that says, hey, update your OBS app here or software. So in this case, just proceed with the update and typically that should solve your issue. Now, another thing you might want to do here is you want to update whatever OS you're using. So if you're using Windows OS, make sure to update or Mac OS, make sure to check for updates. So if you're using Windows, typically at the bottom left, just type in update. You should be able to see a check for updates option. And from here, you want to go ahead and just click on the check for updates button. And if you if you do see any update, go ahead and make sure to install that and restart your PC and see if that solves the issue. Also, another thing is you want to make sure that your GPU is up to date. So depending on what you're using, so NVIDIA or in this case, any other software or GPU out there, just make sure that you have the latest version or driver for it. So typically, since I'm using NVIDIA, I just need to open up the NVIDIA app, just go to drivers and just click on the download button that you see here. So as you can see, there is an update that is ready for me. Now, the next thing that you want to do here is you might want to change a few settings on uh, your actual um, OBS app, which in this case, there are going to be a few things you might want to change here. So let's just open up OBS here just to give you some idea. So this is OBS. So what do we need to do? So first is you want to start this as administrator. So usually or typically speaking, when you open up OBS here, you could go and right click on it and just choose you run as administrator, which run this as administrator. Now you could also go to properties and go to compatibility and click on the run this program as administrator if you always want to run this ad as, as administrator. Just make sure to click on apply and okay to save your changes. Next is you might want to set your OBS here as high priority. So typically speaking on OBS, you want to go to the bottom right, click on settings, and you can go ahead and click on the option that says advanced in here and go to process priority. Now set this to high. And from then on, uh, what you need to do is you just need to restart OBS. So typically it actually communicates with your computer that, hey, I need a lot of resources. So it sets OBS here as high priority. So it allocates more processing power into OBS and in turn could solve your issue. Now, another thing you might want to do here is you might want to change a few settings on your encoder as well as your solution. So you want to go to your output here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and either go to streaming or recording. But what's important is you want to go to video encoder or your uh, video encoder for uh, recording. So you want to maybe play around with your settings here. So by the way, I recommend you to use your hardware option uh, for this one so if you uh hardware is available to you make sure to use that so don't use software because typically this will actually uh put more more load on your cpu which in turn can cost the issue itself so go ahead and choose the appropriate one for you so by the way in my case i'm using uh nvenc h.264 as reference here so you could go ahead and try using whatever i'm using right now also, you might want to go to output here. So let's go to the video and you want to go ahead and change your resolution. So if you have more resolution, like for example, you're, you have a resolution higher than the following resolution here, you might want to tone it down a bit. So maybe uh, scale it down a little bit here. So also you might want to change it to a different one. So you could either choose like 1280 by 720 if you're already using the 1920 by 1080 here. See if that actually helps. But yeah, so those are the things that you can do here to probably solve this issue. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.